All right, welcome to today's show. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this crazy Christmas get up along with everybody else, it's because today we've got the Shanline boys in here who uh, every year have a house that everybody anticipates once uh, Christmas season rolls around to what are they going to do and how big is it going to be this year? So for starters, we got Zach, Chris, and Matt in here. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good. Going good. All right, so let's talk about this Shanline house of festivities. Who's got the Clark Griswold gene in him? Like, where? How long? How long has it been going on? Let's start there. Uh, you want to start with what you used to do? I used to just you know, basically outline the house. Not a big deal. Just put up Christmas lights because mom wanted us to. And then he asked me in I think sixteen. I think it's twenty sixteen. Um, hey dad, can I help? Can I do? Can I do some more stuff? And then it's just kind of grown and grown and grown. Every to what it is uh, now, which is really unreal. I mean, you guys had a live Facebook showing. Did you do that every year? Was this a first this year? Uh, we started the Facebook Live two years ago, and I've not really gotten any better at it. But yeah, we we started that two years ago when I did the. We even line. had we even had the drone up this we year did, getting did. it. So that's if you're watching the YouTube version, we'll have some. We'll, I'll put a clip of that. Yeah, that drone that footage so everybody can see. That's not from Pratt kind of what we're talking about with what you guys do. So do you have any idea of how many lights are actually on your house? So last year when we took them down, we diligently counted each strand when we put them away. And we had about 38,000 last year. And this year I kind of used that number and everything that we've added on to that. And we added about 7,000. So I think we're roughly around 45,000 light bulbs on our house. What now? The obvious question is, what is your electric bill like this time of the month? That's his department. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, mom was mad. It was I'd say 120 to 150 extra for two months. It's, yeah, it's, that's not it's too bad. bad it's not for terrible. And this year it ought to be way better. We did a lot of switching over to LED this year. Yeah, um, with help from grandpa. Um, grandpa showed up. We were going to do all the roof in the white stripes on the roof. In LED this year, just a slow switch over to LED because it's so much cheaper. Well, Grandpa showed up and he says, "Well, hold on," and he disappeared. Come back later with two hundred dollars worth of red LED also. So the whole roof is now LED. Nice. So that's saving us a lot in the uh, breaker box department. Yeah. So, have you ever speaking of the breaker box? Have you ever ran into that where it's like, oh, gonna have to change that around, blowing breakers here every year. Yeah. Every year, <laughs> nonstop. Oh, yes. That's the biggest battle we have every year. It's not the lights. It's where do we draw power from? We got too much power coming from this one. We're burning up. We use uh, little kiosks in the evening to turn them on and turn them off. Yeah. And we blow them things up every year. Yeah. We're always buying. This is the ones. first year we have not blown through a, a kiosk because of the LED that we've switched to. So the LED is worth it then. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now has it always been this big? So what was year one like? You said you started it kind of really going big in 2016. How much has it progressed in the five years? Oh man. Do you tack on every year something new or Yeah. Every year we try to find something different. And really the last three years is when I'd I'd say it reached the uh ridiculous stage. Um we've gotten out of hand. But um the last three years has been where we've really grown to the monstrosity that it is. Um but before that it was more like, Hey, let's let's do stuff something on this tree, let's do something on on the fence now and and now it's like, where can we find a little bit of yard to put some light in? Um, yeah, so it's, we're out of real estate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you just have to go up from there, I guess. Well, <laughs> actually, this year we have jumped into our neighbor's yard. We had all of the red and white that we took off the roof to replace with the uh, LED lights on the roof. We brought over to the Messick's house uh, just to the east of us, and we uh, candy cane striped their, their tree. So we're actually expanding into our neighbor's yard now. Nice. Now, they said before we started here, Matt, that you finally helped out this year. What is that about? I mean, <laughs> it looks like that would be a full-blown effort from everybody, but it appears not the case until this year. Well, um, I'm borderline lazy, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just never had the uh, – I didn't really want to. Never had the help. motivation to get yeah. out and help, huh? But then this year they gave me a walkie-talkie, so I felt part of the team this year. So I just started helping. There you go. Now, so have there been any – this year we had great weather. Have there been some years where you're like, oh, we got to get this up because everybody's expecting it, and it's ice and snow, and have last, you ran into any of those yet? Last year I got on the roof a couple times that I probably shouldn't have. There was snow on the roof last year a couple times when I was up there either think, fixing something or, or doing something. I think something. that was mostly fixing it. Yeah. Putting them up, it's been cold and windy a few times. I don't think we've ever had any snow or ice we haven't issues. Been, we haven't been delayed from our grand yeah, lighting yet. Not putting them up, but 
Definitely, because we're always fixed. He needs. He was supposed to get on the roof today because yeah. some of the candy cane stripes are out of line, and he didn't because he was asleep on the couch. That's but, right. Yeah. Well, that was my next question: is getting on the roof with snow and ice. Is have there been any injuries throughout the years doing this? Other, El- other than, electrical shocks other than, or falling other than off mild, the roof? Other than mild shocks, where I think we're, well, we're staples blood, little blood from staples. <laughs> yeah, and I, I had and, quite a bleed this year actually, yeah. but, uh, but nothing, nothing major, nothing hospital no. worthy yet. How much did you learn from the years, like the first year, second year, third year, as far as prep and like, okay, we need to box this stuff and organize it a little better than we did last year. So it makes it a lot easier when we unpack this year. Yeah, That's the, probably the biggest thing is him. He is extremely, I don't know if anal is the right word, but organized, um, detailed, detailed, organized. Yeah. Of when we take them down, every strand gets put in a little tiny zip tie in the hundred strand. So when we pull out a big tote and it's all labeled in a tote on top of the tote, where that goes, what tree it goes on, what roof it goes on, what, you know, what part of it is and L hundred, every hundred has a zip tie. So when you grab out, it's just that hundred and it's not a big water mess. Right. I mean, I mean, did you do that from year one or did you learn that after a year or two that like, we better get a little more organized? I'd say the last three. I think, yeah, probably the last three. I mean, I really, last year I was really diligent about it because we were counting as we took everything down. Um, But I think over the last three, we've done that zip tie trick where nothing gets tangled with you next year. It just makes it so much easier. I mean, uh, two or three years ago, he had a bunch of friends come over and we sit in the living room and just plug in lights and check them all and check them all. And it takes hours. And we decided, you know, we got to quit doing this. It's just, it's no fun. Hours and hours of plugging in lights and fixing bulbs and you ought to see his, uh, he's got a, we call it the med kit. It's a old tackle box that is just full of light bulbs of different, cause every year it seems like they change light right. bulbs. And so you're always re changing them all. And, um, little shout out to Sean Helfridge. What three years ago, oh, three or four. Yeah. We were trying to throw light bulb strands away and she wouldn't let us. She went through every old light bulb strand and she picked out every light bulb and put them in Ziploc bags and labeled them. Wow. Yeah, craziness. I was like, you're you're way too more patient than I am. Yeah. Throw that stuff away. <laughs> yeah, where do you store it all at in the off season? Do you is does it fit in your house or do you got a storage shed just for this Christmas display? So up until the end of last year, we were able to store it all at our house in our in our garage, kind of the attic area of our garage. But uh if you drive by you'll see uh, these new Christmas trees that we put up. We kind of started that last year and we just didn't have anywhere to put it. So we actually uh, have moved over to uh, Steph and Eric Thompson's house, and we've kind of taken over their attic of their garage, and we started moving all of our kind of yard yard decorations over to their house, and we're still in the lookout for storage this year. How right. fun is it getting the, you know, speaking of Thompson's, the nieces and the nephews coming over and helping yeah. with it and looking forward to it each year? How fun is that? I had Jason Danny help me one day with – we call it grandpa's tree, the red, white, and blue tree in the front. And, uh, they were good help. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. Um, you mentioned your neighbors earlier when we were over there for the grand lighting, the neighbors to the North of you, mm-hmm. they've got a pretty good display, but yeah. I was like, even it doesn't matter how good you think you got, if you're next door to the sham lines, it's like, <laughs> it kind of makes you feel bad. Like, man, they've got all the blow ups and everything and it looked great. But I was like, and then once you guys light yours, it's just kind of like little brother over there across yeah. the street. My, my favorite part about that grand lighting is seeing the glow from our house on trees in the neighborhood. Like you can see, like it's lighting up that tree down the street. Yeah. It's so bright. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's something. What what was new this year? Did you have anything new? Was that North Pole oh, sign new this year? That, that, mm-hmm. was, that, was a, that was a little new touch. Um, the tree uh, kind of next to our front porch, um, that's a, it, we call it grandpa's tree, like dad was just saying, um, is kind of the, the brainchild of grandpa. If grandpa has an idea, it usually gets done when it comes to Christmas lights. Um, and he, he worked on that this year. Um, we got new LED trees, um, which are arguably my favorite part of the new additions that we've done. Um, and then with changing to LED, um, you can set up kind of light shows, I guess, yeah. is, is a word for it that I kind of use for them where you can get them to blink in synchronous in, or synchronize with each other and you can kind of get, make them dance how you want them. And this year we have four different light shows on trees, different trees and uh, our candy cane striping is flashing at you, I guess. So we just got add, added more movement because we were able to use led lights. Um, I got one. We got a willow tree. Uh, we call it Tate's right. tree. Right. Tate's tree. Yeah. 
He what's, it, what's the meaning behind that? Uh, he put it together and he hated it every second of it. <laughs> yeah. So Tate, he, Tate Myers about to throw yeah. it in the trash. Yeah. Tate doesn't seem like he'd have much patience either he does for that not. kind of thing. Zero patience. No. He was, yeah. He was not. I'm surprised you got him over there to help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, he was just there that day, wasn't he? I think we went hunting that morning yeah, and we yeah. stayed. Yeah. I think I, I think I talked him into staying. And then the carport. The yeah, carport. The, we did get into The football team yeah. moved, moved the carport in back this summer. And uh, so we got to decorate that. that Lit was, it up. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's about all the new. Well, any music? Is your house one of those crazy ones that dances to music and all that? Or not yet? We haven't we haven't figured that out. I don't I don't know how we would do that. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you haven't... see some of those online, and you're like, how do they even do that? Yeah. And they're crazy. The whole thing would have to be LED to do yeah, that. You'd have, yeah, you can't do that with. I don't think you can do that with this. The old school lights. I mean, yeah, I mean, we don't know how to do it yet. Our our motto that we say all throughout the entire week is quantity over quality. <laughs> <laughs> we want we want numbers, we don't care how we get get them up. We just need lights on on the house. So if we had to get rid of our all of our non LED lights, we'd lose a lot of that quantity that we're looking for. Yeah, I like that when it comes to Christmas. Yeah. Quantity over quality. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. that. What a so when we were over there over the lighting, I was like, I wonder if these guys have like a do you take donations? Do you have a GoFundMe for this each year or something or We don't uh, so maybe the, an option out there. Maybe some people have suggested that we put a donation box. Like I mean, when like you go Lemon through Park. lemons, yeah, you yeah. go through lemons and you get the little donation <laughs> so out there. The Tribune or the actually the Chamber of Commerce Commerce has uh, put on a light show the past cool. couple years, and last year we won it, and uh, we put 100 percent of those winnings back into buying new lights. We we went straight to the store and um, and bought new lights. Um, that's where, where we were really able to do the switch to LED. Um, so that's that's been a major way that we funded it. Um, and a lot of things is we actually had have people just give us lights. Like they, they get new lights. This year we had a tote on our front porch in the middle of the summer, and we were like, we don't know where these are from. And it was just I like wish a I would have known that. When we were moving here this last week, I had a huge tote, and I was like, I don't even want to mess with these. And I just yeah. threw them away. <laughs> and yeah. Carrie was mad at me. She's like, what would you do with those icicle lights? I was like, I got rid of them. I didn't think they work on the new house. She's like, I was going to use those. <laughs> Sorry, Carrie. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot donated. I mean, just show up. People have – there was one lady. I can't remember her name. She gave us a letter and told us she loved it them, was, and she dropped off a tote of lights. Was, oh, that's cool. It, it was Luke Albers' grandma. I can't okay. remember her name right now, but Luke Albers, is he a freshman? Yeah. Uh, his his grandma brought us some lights, uh, and so that was pretty nice of her. Yeah. Also, that wreath. Yes. Oh, yeah, Karen Dita. Karen Dita down the street. She uh, had a probably three-foot wide. Oh, it's huge. It's gigantic. Three-foot wide uh, wreath that she didn't want anymore sitting in her garage, and she – yeah, that was Mess- message, last year. Message dad one day and said, "Hey, I got a wreath if you want to put it on the house." And so we walked down there and we're like standing there at our house, like, "How are we going to put this up? And right. Where are we going to put it up?" Yeah. So, but we just always try we, to find a, find an area. Now it's easy because there's yeah. a hook up there in the front of our house, and I just walk. Yeah. Down, well, there you go there. for anybody yeah. listening that doesn't know what to do with their old lights. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We're out hey. of real estate. Hey. I don't know what we're gonna do. Or the or the electricity. Yeah, Timish is two years ago. Uh, uh, last year was the first year. Timish yeah. Electric came and they put two boxes on the back of the house because we were drunk. Just for yeah. I mean, that's the only reason this, we put them on there. Yeah. Just because yeah. I was tired of. We had a plug-in in the garage that got pretty hot <laughs> yeah. years ago, and I said, "Man, we got to find more power." Yeah. So <laughs> Timish yeah. wasn't like, "I really don't recommend you guys doing no, all he, this." He, he, he threw two boxes on the back of the house, and now we pull it from there. And yeah. we didn't have any so far this year. I haven't had any it's, power problems. Th- this year has been our best year when it comes yeah. to electric problems for sure. That must be the LEDs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So how long do you leave it up? Do you go a couple weeks after Christmas? Do you go till just the weather gets nice enough on a good weekend to take it down, or do you have a set time frame? It's really not a set time frame. It's usually whenever we can find find time once the once the new year settles down and all that. It's usually first or second week in January. So do you have a time frame it. for getting them lit? Do you always try to get uh, them lit that Saturday after Thanksgiving or sun, or that weekend after? Is that always the goal each year? Yeah, it actually, it really kind of started out as a surprise for mom when she would go shopping in Wichita, Black Friday shopping after Thanksgiving. We would always get it done in that one or two days that she was in Wichita. And now we just, A, she doesn't go anymore, and B, we couldn't do it in that amount of time anymore. So we always try to do it Sunday, is it the Sunday after Thanksgiving? Is that when we did yeah, it? Yeah, that's when we did it. That's Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And the big day we really, really start is the Friday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's we, it. Takes you a good two, we two this three year, full days of the first day he came we back. We started from college. preparation the Monday before Thursday. Yeah. Before Thanksgiving. And we worked on a Monday a little bit. You worked on a little bit Tuesday, a little bit Wednesday. 
Thursday. Thursday. Yes, we did come home from Thanksgiving. We came back from Thanksgiving and still start, started worked, messing around a little bit. Fri- just for an hour. Friday was our big day. Yeah. Friday's day, we, we put a lot of lights on the a house. A lot of lights. And then spend Sunday testing everything, making sure mm-hmm. it's ready to go for the lighting. Nothing's yeah. breaking. Friday and Saturday Trip. was all day. Both days. All yeah. day Friday, all day Saturday. And then Sunday, we didn't do much Sunday. We, we added little stuff. We turned them on for our, about two hours. Forest of degenerate problems. Forest of degenerate candy canes. <laughs> that's yeah, a, that's, that's a fun story. Yeah, that yeah, is Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. So I said earlier that we, we stored some of our stuff at uh, Steph and Eric Thompson's house. And uh, we put our candy canes that we used to make our candy cane lane uh, up in their attic. And over the summer, which is, a lot of people don't realize that we have to have storage for winter and summer. So we have to think about hot and cold. And we didn't think about hot with our candy canes. And they actually, some of them melted and deformed throughout the summer. And they were all S-curved. And Matthew Matthew kind of takes over candy cane lane. And he's like, how am I supposed to work with these? They're all, you, they don't look good at all. So we were like, well, like going back to our quote, quantity over quality. What do we have to do with these things now? So we uh, we had the idea of making a little forest of degenerate candy canes where we just kind of <laughs> stuck them all over the place, all random, put some green lights under it, made it seem like it was a little forest. And that's just one of the ways we always look for quantity over quality. Yeah. So if you come by and see our candy canes are leaning over, they're supposed to be. Yeah. That's, they, they well, look that's look funny. There's yeah, a good, look, there's a good story bad, behind yeah. why they are that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was yeah. surprised they all turned on. So <laughs> yeah. what did you mean by you got to have separate storage from summer and winter just for that? So they don't well, get too hot. Yeah. So when, when we put them in the totes, we got to think they're going to get cold and they're going to get hot. And yeah. so when we test, when that's another thing, like when we, we, when we start testing them, if some of, sometimes they could get, get too hot in the summer and not work for, for reasons that I don't really know why, yeah. but that's just, everyone thinks putting Christmas lights up, they got to stand the weather and the snow and the cold, but they've also got to be stored in the, in the heat too. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Any advice to anybody out there that wants to uh, try to, you know, rival you or knock off the champion of the Shanline house or what would you recommend anybody that I know every year I hear some people like, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do it. And then they probably get into their first couple hundred boxes of light bulbs <laughs> and they're like, no. Nope. My only advice would be, don't be, uh, don't call me to help. <laughs> quantity, quantity over it's, quality it's, is yeah, the it's, advice. It's going to get out of hand. Gosh, we, uh, we opened 70 to 70, I'd say 70 or 80 new boxes of lights this year. Yeah. We had trash bags full of just the little boxes. It was nuts. Yeah. We give to family members to wrap gift, gifts for Christmas and we'll end up taking a big old trip to the recycling center with all of them. And yeah. a lot of it, a lot, a lot goes on. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Kind of a fun story. We pulled out the walkie talkies this year because yeah. he was working on the roof. I was working on trees because I guess that's kind of the deal. He works on the house. I do trees. Matt does yard. That's kind of the breakdown of how it all goes. And I was working on a tree and I kept having to, because he, he's the one that writes on all the tops of the totes, what goes in what. And I'm just, I'm like, Man, I don't know what this is making any sense. And I kept walking back and forth and back and forth, asking him, hey, where's this go? What's this, 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 this? And I said, I'm done. I went downstairs, walkie-talkies, and we all had three walkie-talkies. That's what we're, and we had fun with that. I was going to say, that probably makes it a lot more fun. Sure, that got mad out of yeah. it. Yeah. He's like, oh, I get a walkie-talkie? So, yeah, yeah, I'll help. Yeah, tune in to Channel 4 to listen to our mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so. it's more of a it's comedy line rather yeah. than communication. Lots of lots of quoting. Uh, um, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. I'll days. bet so. A lot of those. I'll bet that. so. Yeah. <laughs> Little not here, Russ. Little not here, Russ. We say all the time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right. I don't think I got much else for you guys, unless yeah. you got anything you can think you want to add to the story of the Shanline house. I got some thank yous. Yeah. For de- all the people that definitely. Help us. All right. Grandpa, Grandpa Shanline, as we said, he's a huge help uh, setting everything up, getting everything organized, and really taking on projects. Uh, Jeff Shanline, our uncle, comes and helps quite a bit. Uh, Andres Fernandez. He's my buddy that I graduated with. He uh, he came and helped a lot this yeah, year. A lot of help. He there. was he was here quite a bit. Reagan Hoover always comes every year. She has a specific tree that she actually puts up, and we call it Reagan's tree. And that's all she does. Yep. And she sits <laughs> around and slows us. And down. then she tells us ideas. <laughs> Just for the record, Reagan. <laughs> yeah, no, you're no help. <laughs> and, 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 you, and, you, and you give us you give us ideas that we sh- inevitably shoot down. Um, <laughs> uh, Kirsten Maydu comes and helps a lot too. Tate Myers came this year. Ryan and 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 Eastis comes all the time this year. Uh, and then and then mom. Uh, for cooking us dinner all week and and uh, letting us do this craziness to her house. Man, you're not kidding about this guy being the detailed guy. Like he's got his list of thank yous <laughs> yeah. ready to roll. Yeah. You guys would have just been like, "Yep, thanks." Yeah. And then Zach, mom, mom was actually really awesome this year. She yeah. had lunches ready. She had suppers ready. She cooked for us and normally 
it's hey let's go to mcdonald's yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's yeah. awesome well good i'm glad we got to sit down yeah. i see it every year and i'm always yeah. like man these guys put on such a great well, show thanks for coming to do the drone yeah, that was, we, that yeah. Was really cool. yeah like i said we'll put some some of those clips on the video for anybody that's watching the podcast cool. and wants to see what house we're talking about that i think there's some people that don't live here in pratt that listen that probably are wondering like what are they talking about this thing must be epic if they're you know so we'll get it up there so they we, can see we it. have a we have a good time so if you drive by come honk because we're yep. usually sitting at the table playing cards and uh we enjoy it and we wave and we get a good kick out of it yeah. so well, that's cool that's cool all right well thank you boys for coming on and drive by the shanline house i don't know should i give out your address i don't that's know it's fine yeah what Everybody i don't know what your address cor is. corner of fifth and high corner of fifth and high yep just, if you're in town high school if you're in town over the holidays corner of fifth and high you won't miss it trust me just get <laughs> close and uh it'll you just follow the lights yeah, you'll yeah, find yeah. it all right well thanks guys appreciate it yep, appreciate it all right us.